Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Sarah. As you can tell, I look a little bit different today. That is because I am entering the NYX Face Awards this year. This is my entry video, and if you would like to see how I did this dragon-inspired look, then go ahead and keep watching. Using scotch tape is a useful trick to help create a nice sharp edge when applying your makeup. I've used tape on the outer edge of my eye in an upwards angle to help elongate my face. The tape I've used on the inner part of my face helps create and maintain the sectioning I've envisioned for my scales and my shadow section. Once I've got my face all sectioned off with tape, then I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I will be applying this to my lid don't have to be too crazy specific just as long as it gets all over there and I'm just applying it to the inner third of my lower lash line as well then taking a brush I'm just going to blend this out up until my crease and then blending on the lower lash line as well make sure that the tape is sitting on your face so it does not move around or pucker my next jumbo eye pencil in Rocky Mountain Green is next up on my products. I will be applying this above the black but also in the center part of my face along the inner scotch tape section. I'm going to be putting this to about halfway through my upper lid and then just blending it out slightly with my finger. Once that is complete, I will be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Pure Gold. And then on the outer part of my upper lid, I am going to be applying this and then again using my finger just to blend that into the green and the black just slightly. I love these Jumbo Eye Pencils and I have them in just about every color and they create a nice base so that the color that you're applying in shadow form really does pop and stand out. So that's why I'm going to be using the black, green, and gold throughout my face as more of a base to create bolder colors. Using my Annabelle Matte Black Shadow, I'm going to be applying this over my black that I've already applied with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and just dabbing that on, patting it on to make sure that it's nice and thick. Then using my NYX Primal Colors in green, I'm going to be also applying this with a more fluffier brush onto the pre-existing green jumbo eye pencil that I've already applied and this will help, like I said, create a nice uh, strong color. I'm going to be applying this and blending it into the black as well as a little bit into the gold making sure that it, it flows nicely. Then using my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette, I'm going to be using this nice greeny yellow color in the outside part of my upper lid as well as the inner corner of my eye. Then using a big fluffy brush, and I just got this one at Walmart, just make sure that everything is nice and blended into each other. Now you're ready to take off that tape. Now it's time for the upper portion of my face. I will reapply the tape on the inside of my other eye to create a triangle shape. Using the Rocky Mountain Green, I apply this to the top corners of the right and the left side of the tape. Then using my finger, I will gently blend out and into my hairline. Continuing down, I will also use the same pencil and finger method to contour my face to make it appear slender and long like a dragon. Using the NYX Green Primal Color Shadow and a fluffy brush, I'm just going to be applying this and helping blend out that green pencil into my hairline and then also into the contour as well to make sure that it's nice and blended. To help add some warmth, and to help blend out this green, I'm going to be using my MAC Frost Eyeshadow in Ochre Style. And I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm just going to be using this with a fluffy brush to uh, help blend in that contour and that green. 
Then making sure that everything is blended, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a clean blush brush to help make sure that it is all blended. Now for my favorite part. I have cut up some fishnet stockings in about a square for a section and then using a hair clip I'm going to be clipping this to my hair and then spreading it out with my fingers. I'm going to be using a stippling brush in black. So that same Annabelle black that I use on my eyes and then I'm just going to be stippling that black onto the upper parts of the triangles to create a little bit more of a contour. And this will help create some scales and it is really cool. It looks really awesome and it is so easy. I absolutely love this step and I had so much fun. So once you're done this, you can go ahead and apply this wherever else you think you need to. I applied this a little bit to my contour and obviously made sure it was the same on the other side. And then I did the same on my chin so that my chin wasn't bare. I felt like I needed it and it looked pretty awesome. tape is coming off only to add another center tape. <laughs> this one, I am sucky at straight lines, so that's why I really love using masking tape or scotch tape, whatever you call it. I am going to be putting this in the center of my um, nose and then using a angled brush with black bean on it. I'm just going to apply two lines to either side of the tape to help contour my nose, again to make it more slender, and then using another clean angled brush just to blend that outwards. Then once that is all done, take the tape off and then just connect the nose part with the original first angled brush and then just blending that out as well. Now Dragon's nostrils are a little bit more elongated so I wanted to help create this and I am using the Black Bean Jumbo Eye Pencil on my nose. I know it sounds ridiculous but it really works. I'm going to be creating kind of like um, a pointy nostril coming out of my own nostril to kind of create that dragon reptile inspired look to keep that going. To create a different type of scale, I am going to be using the pure gold jumbo eye pencil to create these kind of lumps or bumps um, on my mid section of my face. And this reminded me of the nose and the chin part of a reptile as well as dragons and I've just decided to bring this up a little bit further up my face just to be a little bit different and a little bit unique. To add depth, I'm going to be using the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk just to create a little bit of a highlight on the upper parts of these different types of scales and then blending it out with a clean angled brush. Then to create a little bit of depth, I'm going to be adding a little bit of the Black Bean Pencil to the middle lower section of these larger scales just to create a little bit of shadow to create a little bit of depth. Using the NYX Super Skinny Marker Pencil Liquid Liner, which is super awesome and easy to apply, and this is just charcoal black, I'm just going to be drawing out my eyebrows. I'm not going to go all the way, just about halfway to make a nice point, and then take that into the inner part of my eye, as you can see I'm doing right now, and then I'm going to be drawing kind of like whiskers or furrows in the brow, uh, upwards and outwards in about three or four little sections. When you're creating these little furrows, make sure to concentrate on the lower part where the eyebrow sits and then flicking it up so that it tapers on the edges. A reptile's mouth is long 
and not really full, <laughs> obviously, because they don't have lips like we do. So I'm going to be taking the black bean pencil and making my lips nice and flat. I'm not going to be creating a cupid's bow or an arc on the top of my lip or anything. I'm just going to create a nice straight line and then extending it in the corners. Using an angled brush, I'm just going to be cleaning up the edges so that they are nice and sharp. To finish off this look, I'm going to be applying some really awesome thick black fake lashes and these are just from e.l.f. and I think this really helps finish off the look and add a little bit more drama to my eyes. So this is it for my tutorial on this dragon inspired look. If you did like this, don't forget to thumbs up for that like and if you did really really enjoy it I would appreciate a share with all of your friends and family and other awesome people in your life just to get my video out there in hopes to make it into the next round of the NYX Face Awards. I hope you enjoyed this video it's a little bit different than what I normally do. I do a lot of these videos at Halloween and I do really enjoy them so that's why I decided to enter the NYX Face Awards this year and I really hope fingers crossed double fingers crossed fingers and toes crossed that I make it into round two and if you agree then don't forget to share I hope to see you all next Sunday for next Sunday's video I hope you have a wonderful day everyone bye this is supposed to be scary but I don't know I can't really take myself seriously I kind of wish I got contact lenses but I'm so scared of things in my eyes oh well hopefully you'll see me in the next round of Nick's face awards Wah, wah.